welcome back to stylish nigeria youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you guys for subscribing to stylish nigeria youtube channel thank you for your love for your support if you are new to the channel you are highly and very welcome if you have not subscribed I'll subscribe yeah if you have not subscribed i will appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell also on the side to get an update whenever i upload a new video and then if you want to register for my online classes you can just see my number scrolling through the screen send me a message on whatsapp i'll give you the details of all of the classes we have presently available you can follow me on all of my social media platforms facebook pinterest instagram all at stylish niger okay so in today's video i'm so excited yes because this um video this it has been a request i've been getting lots and lots of requests of this um particular tutorial and what is the tutorial how to cut and sew a cow neckline top without using a pattern so i have some couple of cow neckline tutorials on the channel already and all of them we made them making use of a pattern so in today's video we are not going to be making use of any pattern we're just going to draft directly on our fabric so that's what we're going to learn how to do today it is a very simple process i think it is even easier than making use of the pattern yeah okay so what i'm going to do now i'm going to fold my fabric so this is the fabric that i'm going to be making use of you can make use of any fabric initially i was thinking of making use of the chiffon so since this one is two years and then this one is about four years so I'm, i don't want to waste the fabric so i'll just keep this and then i'll make i'll use from this one that is already two years of fabric so what i'm going to do i'm going to show you guys how to fold the fabric so i'll go ahead i'll do that and then we'll start marking immediately okay so i've cut out the piece of fabric that i'm going to use so i'll just show you all of the measurements so we're going to I have about 23 and a half inches, so I added a little bit of allowance. So this is the back piece. So we'll cut out the back pattern first. So I have some line. This is my bust line, my waist line. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to measure my shoulder. So for the shoulder, I'll use 14 inches divided by 2, which is 7. I'll add just half of an inch on it for stitching allowance. So I'll mark it like this, and then I'll come, I'll take out my armhole measurement i'll use half of my armhole which is eight the full one is 16 so i'll use half so i'll just so my fabric is very soft so it is just going up and down up and down so i mark it the next thing i'm going to add my bust measurement it is not a fitted dress so i'll use 40 inches for my bust in all allowances included so i'll use 40 inches i'll add just one inch allowance to it and then on that that same measurement i'm just going to run it down to my waist part and then for the down part i will increase the down part by one inch just do your normal basic your normal basic top so that's my normal basic top. The next thing I'll add my neckline. I'll use a three inches wide neckline. And then for the depth, I'll just come with 1.5 inches depth. So you can see. So it depends on how wide you want it to. Let's make it 3.5. 3.5 is okay. Since it is a cow, you can even do four. Okay, so the next thing now, we're going to cut out everything. So I'll cut this. As I'm cutting this, I'll slope my shoulder down a little bit. So you can see we have our back pattern. The next thing now, I'm going to fold my remaining fabric to cut out the front one. Okay, so I want you to see what I'm doing now. So you can see my fabric. So I'm folding it 
slanted like a bias so note that it is not straight you can see how it is looking i folded it on bias so the next thing i'll take my back pattern and then i'm going to look for the suitable place to place it on my so you can see how i'm placing it so you can see this part so I'm making sure that this part is touching almost to this end. And then the next thing, <coughs> excuse me, the next thing I'm going to check, I'm going to check the distance between here, this neckline and this part. So that is where the cow effect will come in. So I have about 12.5 inches, which is okay. You can do 8 inches, you can do 9 inches. So the more you go, the more the cow pattern will drop. So the more you go in, as you come out, the more your pattern, the cow neckline will drop. So the next thing now, make sure that this part is staying like this. We're going to mark. And then make sure that the side will correspond on the side like this. And then my arm will and then my shoulder. And then once I get to this part, I'm not cutting the neck like this. I'm just going to take this straight like this. So this ends like this. So I'm just trying to make sure you can see it properly. So this comes here and then this goes like this. Your comes straight. And then make sure that this part corresponds, the side side corresponds. So you can see it is a very simple process. So now we're going to cut now so we'll start from the down part so i'm going to cut So you can see what we have on the table. <laughs> so the next thing, what we're going to do, you are going to make sure on the shoulder parts like this, you put a notch there. So if you don't put a notch, you are going to miss it. So you need to put a notch to know that that's where the shoulder part is. So I've added my notch there on the shoulder. So I'm going to open it now. Let's see what we have. So open our back piece first. I'm just going to place it on the table like this. So I hope you can see. Okay. And then I'll take the front piece. I'll open it up. <coughs> and then take down my notch part. That's the shoulder part. So I'll make sure that it corresponds here. I'll pin it down. So when I was cutting, I added a little bit 
like half of an inch from, on the length of my front pattern. So I'll take, look for the other notch part also. I'll make sure that it corresponds on the shoulder area. So please, if you find this video helpful, I would appreciate if you hit on the like button. Actually, it takes nothing for you to like this video. Just like the video. I would appreciate that. So you can see what we have at the end of the day. So you can see our cow neckline. So with this, we used about 12 inches. With this, you, don't, you really don't have any problem. Your cow neckline is going to sit perfectly. So you can see what we have here. It's going to come out really perfectly well. Really perfectly well. So you can see. So at the end of the day, this front part, you can decide to just hem, hem the neckline. You can decide to hem it. Depends on however you want to turn it. Just hem it. And at the end of the day, this is what we are going to have for our front pattern. So you can see that it really came out fine, simple, and easy. So that is how... Uh, it is looking and it's looking really good so thank you so much if you find this video helpful i've not come to the end so it's just for me to go and stitch the side and then the shoulder if you want to add a neckline i'm sorry if you want to add a sleeve you can add a sleeve so thank you so much i have now come to the end of this tutorial if you find it helpful please hit on the like button and if you have not subscribed already please what are you waiting for subscribe thank you so much i'll see you in my next video so I'm going to be using this pattern from henceforth.